Hi, my name is Maximiliano Leal. I'm a master's student in system engineering and technology from the University of Sonora, Mexico. The paper I'll be presenting today is titled An ITSM Framework Adaptation Case Study in an Electoral Institution. This presentation will be divided in four sections, a brief introduction, the case study explanation, a methodology overview, and finally, results and conclusions. In such competitive scenarios among today's companies, it is essential to drive business agility in their internal processes. In order to do this, they need to have access to sharp information technology resources that support efficient decision-making processes. The global approach to service-oriented business has been constantly increasing and highlighting the, the importance of information technology service management through process frames, tech tools, and training. Such is the case of local electoral public institutions, which are autonomous institutions that have a presence in each state across the country. They are in charge of the election processes in Mexico. Therefore, they all have similar processes and suffer the same problems. An electoral process starts 10 months before the next election date, and legal statutes stipulate that 24 hours and seven days a week are business hours, resulting in long working shifts that exceed 15 hours a day. One of the LEPI's essential departments is the Information Technology Department, since it's in charge of the application and administration of information and communication technologies in the institution, promoting their innovation processes, standardization, and optimization. This provides a total of 32 ITDs throughout the country that perform similar activities. In spite of the fact that the electoral process starts 10 months before the elections, at its end, the ITD continues providing IT services in its daily operation. The ITD presents a lack of documentation in the literature on how these institutions and their internal areas carry out their procedures and what frameworks they use to ensure that the performance of their activities. Therefore, to fulfill the previously described objectives, the following are the proposed research questions that guided this study. First of all, we needed to know if there were any similar existing studies on best practice framework adaptations in organizations. Then, which would be the best indicators when performing a first implementation? Finally, will the adapted methodology have a positive impact and improve the organization's service response times by more than 30%? The services provided by the LEPIS ITD are considered functional since they cover the momentary needs that users manifest any given time. However, it was identified that there is a lack of standardized procedures making it impossible for the ITD to monitor and drive continuous improvement of their services. This is attributable to the fact that the requested services derive from untimely changes in their different regulations. These difficulties faced by the ITD tend to be repetitive. This type of situations makes it impossible to control, guarantee, and continually improve the technical IT service offered, reflecting on resource wasting and time invested in rework when meeting a new request. The objective is to provide a working scheme for the ITD and scale it to each of the 32 states of the country, as the ITSM framework will be similar to the one developed. Many enterprises have adopted the Information Technology Infrastructure Library as an ITSM framework for delivering and managing IT services. Also, there are several uh, similar studies available in literature noticing that in all of them, the ITIL framework becomes an effective ITSM solution. That's why it was decided to carry out an adaptation according to the ITD needs. The ITD works on their internal regulation. Therefore, some of the department activities depend on other departments as well. Due to this reason, out of 26 processes offered by ITIL, 13 were chosen based on their applicability to the ITD and their service management needs. This methodology is focused on four stages, each one having their own phases, processes, and activities. The first stage of the ITSM methodology adaptation set the foundations regarding the subdivisions that it will have. It also defined the current state of the ITD, 
about their service performance and through the knowledge of the department projecting the course of their contributions in the LEPI. Lastly, it enables and control implementation with a focus on the organization's strategic lines. An analysis was carried out identifying 13 primary needs, which were translated into 13 processes that were used to formulate the transition from framework adaptation to an ITSM adaptation implemented methodology. <clears throat> In the second stage for the ITSM adaptation services that are currently offered by the ITD were defined and delimited. The planning stage consists of the following two phases. The service strategy, a strategic orientation of the services identified was carried out. In order to select which ones will be offered to the users, through the service portfolio management process, service management was enabled as a strategic asset. And the service design, a service catalog was designed to allow the ITV to know the breadth of solutions it has. To complement this process, a service card was created where the service objectives were established so the ITV members know its the limitations and have certainty of the responsible roles. The second process was the creation of a service level agreement. In order to do this, other processes provided by ITIL framework characteristics were mixed to create a simplified and easily accessible format where the agreement with the user on the service that will be provided is condensed. Information security management was established, ensuring that the information that is handled is accurate, eliminating modification processes that are not authorized. The third stage is formulated with the service implementation phase, in which a general transition strategy was designed for each of the identified services, simplifying the interaction visualization between the user and the ITD. Also, a format was designed for a change management, in which a risk analysis was carried out to identify incidents that could have a negative impact when providing an agile response. Then, a change execution plan was established to describe those activities that will serve as an input process and output when meeting a request. In addition, it was reinforced with a change control sheet due to the ITD only received specific modifications requests or service updates without generating any document that allows traceability in terms of change mates to their services. Finally, a delivery card was created where the user and the ITD ensure that the service given meets the necessary requirements to be considered functional and of quality. The last stage consists of the following two phases. The service operation. A large part of the ITD's daily operation is focused on incident attention reported by users. As there was no previous incident record, to have a comparative point of response and, so, and, and resolution of incidents and request times, a Google form was created. The form was designed to obtain information on both the request and the solving process. Using this tool, a total of 179 incidents were obtained. Based on the response times, an average time was calculated showing 437 minutes per service request. These times were recorded before the methodology implementation. A service desk system was created in which the ITD had access to a dashboard view where the total number of received requests are shown. Using this type of view helped the staff identify easily the incidents that are waited to be examined and allow them to have an overview of their performance. The service desk calculates response time by ticket date and time of registration and closing. Also, it has a request history with which both the user and the ITD can view a drop-down historical list of all, requires, of all requests made and response received, and by clicking one or on and by clicking on any ticket, the user would be able to view files and messages that were sent and received at the request time. Implementing this type of modules benefited both parties because of a knowledge-based creation serving as a first filter when a similar incident occurs and enabling request numbers to decrease. And the continual service improvement. The continual service uh, improvement process and service report were used to describe the CSI. The first one is focused on providing KPIs to the other methodology processes. The purpose is supporting decision making and verifying that any service improvement or update meets its objective effectively. 
The continual improvement process in KPIs creation and update indicators was carried out through a Deming cycle adaptation. The second process in this phase is also executed through the service desk in which service reports are generated through a report generator model. After the ITSM adapted methodology implementation first stage, an order was established within the department, helping identifying a control section and for the staff to acknowledge their attributions. This stage also opened the strategic lines taken in the design of the ITSM methodology supported by the needs identification process. A total of 13 documents were introduced to the ITD operation. Using the information provided by the SDS, after implementation, a comparative analysis was performed with the times after system implementation and the time before system implementation to quantify the initial state with the final state. This analysis was carried out using scatter plots to visualize the behavior of request times. In the time before system implementation scatter plot, some points were identified that could be considered outliers. In this case, they are included since it's possible to attribute the causes of these values to the lack of control and procedures in the IT operability. If we compare both plots, the most striking result that emerges is that the dispersion in time decreases considerably. The maximum time recorded before the system was 14,400 minutes. Time after system implementation shows a maximum time value of 676 minutes. Therefore, it is possible to infer that the application times were reducted by more than 30%. To statistically quantify the validity of the ITSM methodology implemented, a two sample t test was applied in which a, a time before system implementation and time after system implementation means comparison was made with two hypotheses. For the new one, it was established that the mean response time difference is equal to 30%. If this hypothesis is accepted, it would be assumed that the department's ITSM improved by 30% or less. On the other hand, for the alternative hypothesis, it was established that the mean response time difference is greater than 30%. If this hypothesis is accepted, it would be assumed that the ITSM implementation was successful. This test was performed using a 0.05 significance level. The first important result was the time after system implementation average calculation that shows a value of 49.3 minutes per request. The test also revealed a 0.037 p-value, accepting the alternative hypothesis established, providing sufficient statistical evidence that allows us to ensure that, indeed, the average request time response time was reducted by more than 30%. The first research question focused on summarizing similar studies that can be found in the literacy review that directed towards ITIL as the best specific framework for the, for the adoption. The second question about the best indicators to be used in a first implementation is solved by the statements presented in the continual service improvement process phase, uh, which synthesize the information on efficiency and productivity and provide a performance and evaluation metrics to the ITD. The third research question was answered and supported by the statistical analysis showing that after the implementation, the average time calculated percentage reduction was 88%. The ITSM methodology adaptation made for this study enabled the establishment of information technology services administration foundations of, of, of an IT department resulting in higher value activities that are strategically aligned with the organization's objectives. The main contribution is the ITSM in public electoral organizations. Due to the fact that they are autonomous institutions, operating characteristics are very different from any other public or private institution. The expectation was for this study to be replicated in 32 offices dedicated to providing this type of specific services in the country. Thank you.